All right, guys, welcome to Geek the Movies. We just got out of a really early premiere. Uh, this movie is coming out, I think, next week or this weekend. Somehow they were doing an early screening. So I shot a text to these guys and said, hey, let's go check out. What did we watch? Already forgot. Fall Guy. Oh, with Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling. Now, um, so the question that was asked, and I'm not, I didn't ask them. This is going to be all live. The question that was asked by our viewers was, what's better, Barbie or Fall Guy? I don't know about you guys, but I had a really great time. I didn't think this movie would be as good as it was. I actually didn't know what to expect because the previews really don't give away anything. My understanding of the preview was like the actor got kidnapped by bad guys and Ryan Gosling has to save him. That's just what I thought the movie was going to be. It is not that even remotely yeah. true <laughs> it's kind of true but not that's like the setup the rest of the movie goes in a completely different direction um one of the things that's really cool is they broke the world record for the most flips on camera we finally came up with this calculation that gave us eight and a half rolls Action. Casino Royale with James Bond held the record with uh, seven car flips. Don't, don't be keep, I don't know. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But they they did seven flips on camera. Mm -hmm. And uh, this movie, Fall, Fall Guy, broke the record by eight. Like one more flip that was recorded. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. And what right movie to kind of have that happen because they really, they really tried to tell you, like tell the audience and all of us how important stunt drivers stunt people are in movies like they do a lot of the heavy lifting that the actors can't do unless you're tom cruise and jackie chan of course um yeah shannon yeah um really good movie i was looking forward to it because it has emily blunt and brian gosling thing. in it another good thing and uh the cinematography is just incredible in this movie they do some oh, yeah. really cool things um and then they tell you what you're what they're doing and why it's cool which is one of my favorite things like uh the movie holiday always sticks out to me with jack black because i've never seen that actually it's like not that great of a movie but it's cute because they explain to you why other movies are so good and how things are done that make those movies memorable oh really so then it made that movie memorable and Ooh. um I this, have to check it out. this movie does a lot of that it has really cool camera work and then it, it it nods to you the audience uh it tells you why that camera work is so important and impactful in other movies like it and i love when a movie does that if you can explain to me why what i'm seeing is so cool like i love fourth wall breaks i love narration this movie has like all of that um it it, it, it it's like a dramedy a, a comedy but uh, but also a lot of action so and i think that the actors like hit every note and um it really, really it, good it really chemistry hit, really good chemistry yeah like I, I totally buy i know that emily blunt has been with john krasinski for like a decade but i totally would buy ryan that, gosling yeah. and emily blunt as a couple i don't even know what their names were in the movie i don't care they were so good on screen <laughs> oh, yeah. as themselves well i know hers was jocelyn or something because <laughs> oh, she jody. was a director. jody because she yeah, was a director jody and whatever the other guys stuff guys. Names, but it's yeah. just ryan gosling and he just plays himself and he kills it so yeah um yeah Nine out of ten. Go see it. Ooh, high praise. Hold on, popcorn, would you say? I'd say it's almost there, yeah, but, like, they could have cut a few scenes and made some stuff flow better. Um, but overall, really good movie. All right, George. Um, this, this movie was awesome. I like the fact that it didn't really flow the same as other movies. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Because it was a movie about movies. Mm -hmm. Right. So right. they, I think they successfully broke that fourth wall a little bit more by adding that little bit of extra jitter to it a few more of those clips you wouldn't normally have in in a regular movie i do think that there there might have been a a few times when the story was a little bit uh dry well i don't know i don't know enough about the movie to to make too many calls on it like because i don't know if some of the some of the people in the crew that were part of the um extras in the movie I'm guessing quite a few of them were probably stuntmen. Mm -hmm, yeah. So I I think some oh, yeah, of the those reason, were 
some yeah, of the reason I why you that. didn't see like your better acting amazing acting was probably because these were people that just you know do actually do yeah, that stuff right? yeah so i thought that was actually think, kind of cool i actually don't think they did a bad job i mean it was definitely no, noticeable they did, a, they did a really good job um mm -hmm. yeah even though they're not actors you're like oh yeah you're probably a real stunt person who oh, worked yeah. in hollywood yeah um golden popcorn yeah yeah, yeah, I would, I would say so. I really like Ryan Gosling's portrayal of Colt Sears, yeah. um, even though it's it's much different from the uh, series because there's there's almost no correlation between what he does here and what he in does. the series in regards to in the series he was he was a bounty hunter as well. Oh, really? And this oh, he's not. I didn't even so, know there was an original series. Oh yeah, it was Mission, awesome. Mission Impossible was um, a TV show before a big Tom Cruise franchise. Yeah, I remember, I think it was like I hate. Well, I knew about Mission Impossible, but I didn't know about Get Smart was also a TV guy. show before the movie. Mm -hmm. I know Get Smart. I grew up watching that one. Yeah. Oh, you did? Oh yeah. Oh that's no a, way. It's a good show. Nice. Yeah. So my final thoughts on this movie was, of course, go see it. Um, I actually enjoyed it way more than. I thought I was going to because yeah, I just I just didn't they, like they really don't show a lot guys in the previews like you're really coming in with like a good platter of like amazing comedy action and actually drama too I would say like good good drama between like twists and turns things like that this is a movie that should have been what we went to go see um the one with um like the spy and the cat Argyle mm, Argyle yeah. was cute yeah I thought like this movie had what Argyle was kind of missing, yeah. which was the chemistry and like mm -hmm. just yeah. But it's again, it's Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, two of the best working actors in Hollywood. Yeah. They were gonna, they were gonna make it. I mean, just having those two names, uh, put them on screen, they're gonna shine. They're gonna kill yeah. it, right? All right, we're gonna break down our now uh, our question that was asked. So we're finally coming around to it: Barbie or Fall Guys? So I will say tie. They're very two very different films, but both great in their own terms. Barbie has comedy, good chemistry between the actors like Margaret Robbie and Ryan Gosling and so many others. It has a great message for women. It has a great message for young girls like like Golden Park Popcorn 10 out of 10. This movie is about a showcase of it's action comedy. It's a showcase of, of course, the great, as we talked about, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, but it has some amazing stunt work and like how Hollywood makes action and there's even like it just it works like everything in both movies works if you're looking for action comedy you'll get it here if you're looking for drama. a good comedy drama Romance. with like with a good message for young yeah. girls and women and all that fun stuff you'll get it there don't try to compare them go in like go try they're like it's like comparing apples and oranges the yeah, only the, yeah it's not really worth it just just go see both Shannon Barbie, obviously. <laughs> like, sorry. Barbie was like a cultural moment. Maybe it's because I'm a girl, but Barbie was like a cultural, like, everybody that I know started wearing pink because of that movie. And every party that I went to, everybody was playing those songs from that movie. And I had like three different watch parties to make my friends watch that movie. Uh, Fall Guy was cute. And I might maybe i'll watch it again someday With Robbie. barbie i watched like four times and like yeah. dragged all my friends to it and it was it took over the whole world for like a year so no comparison like you said apples and oranges barbie wins hands down yeah and it got to got george to wear pink too because mm -hmm. he bought a shirt that's it yeah of. yeah like he even george was wearing <laughs> none of us are going to be wearing fall guy shirts or fall guy halloween costumes i mean i might i uh, just I just want to look like Ryan Gosling. I know it's, it's a I tall. like that green cowboy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. was good. That, looked that, cool. did, that, that looked did. Cool. That did look good. Barbie or um, Fall Guy? Um, so I I really never w would have thought I would be saying this, but I think Barbie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> simply because it's a clear a clear choice. <laughs> simply because like I I don't know if it's if it's the statement if it's the acting. It's a little bit of everything. It, was, it had. It had a little bit more meat to it, I feel like, than yeah. than the Fall Guy movie. I love Fall Guy, but um, yeah, Barbie, Barbie was Barbie was more meaningful. Well, I Barbie more was kind of it. like uh, life changing. It was, was a life changing yeah, movie. movie yeah. yeah, Fall Guy was great, but it was not life changing.